Hi, I'm Dave Eyring, and you're watching Hike with the Mayor and City Council. This event gives the public the opportunity to meet face-to-face -face with the mayor and members of the City Council while exploring the over 16,000 acres of open space preserved just for you. San Joaquin Marsh and Wildlife Sanctuary is open daily from dawn to dusk. There are over 300 acres of marsh brimming with wildlife and over 12 miles of maintained trails from which to view that wildlife. Let me just tell you the, uh, the real name of this place. Instead of uh, San Joaquin Marsh, it's called Best Kept Secret Place in Irvine. <laughs> Not too many people actually realize that we have this wonderful marsh in the heart of uh, Orange County and, and Irvine. So I want to first of all welcome you to this walk. Uh, we have done many walks in the past, but I felt this best kept secret needs to get known better to the public. What's unique about this Irvine open space is it's owned, created, and maintained by the Irvine Ranch Water District. Uh, we have owned it since, well, actually since around 1985. And we have we purchased the property because we recognized that it had a great value. It had a value to the citizens. It also had a value to the district itself because it protected the our facility that is situated in the center of it. At some point, you got to look around and say, how did all this get here? Well, here's the story. Duck clubs were actually uh, ubiquitous across, across the Southern California and Northern California. And one of the last one was situated here in Irvine. The duck clubs were here before we were. Right. Uh, they uh, actually, the buildings were moved in here in the early 60s. They were in the huge duck ponds that were where the IBC is now, mm -hmm, the Irvine mm -hmm. Business Center. Uh, that was a big duck hunting area, a thousand right. acres of uh, uh, duck hunting. Yeah, so wow. they, when they started developing that, they moved the duck clubs down here into what used to be farmland, and then the hunting was moved here. And they recognized that this, the city you know, became a city and then was developing that it really was not a place where guns should be shut off. <laughs> and so They were closed out of here. They lost their permit and the city shut them down somewhere in the late 80s. And then we stepped in to try to preserve the habitat that they had created down here to do hunting. Mm -hmm. And then we've built on it since then. Yeah. And one foot in front of the other. It's been a labor of love since probably 1986. So I'm here with Bob Meeting, and Bob is responsible for the design of not only the campus behind us with this beautiful, but you said also the marsh. Right. Tell me a little bit about what that entails. Well, we've been involved in this project, the entire marsh, the campus area, for the last 20 years. This whole project was really uh, the vision of IRWD and Pierce Swan. What was the desired outcome for, for, from your perspective? Other than the, the initial objective was to clean up the water in San Diego Creek right. so that we could get rid of the, the problems, the water quality problems in the Newport Back Bay. That's good. And my objective personally was to create a natural environment so that people could come out here and enjoy it and see what is truly a unique environment in our desert climate. We wanted to create trails that were not just utilitarian, uh -huh. but were pleasant to walk along that created mystery, and you could walk around the bend and find something new and a new uh -huh. view, and have quite a variety of habitats here. So we have all kinds of riparian, we have actually some upland plant material where it's drier, we have aquatic plant material. So this is one place in Orange County that you can see a tremendous variety of plant material. With that, our hikers hit the trail to experience all of that beauty. Swift, a 
wildlife biologist for the Irvine Ranch Water District, explains how the district uses a natural water treatment system to clean the water before it makes its way to the Newport Back Bay. I've read about this natural treatment system. Tell me what that is and how it works. The natural treatment system here at Irvine Ranch Water District at the San Joaquin Wildlife Sanctuary uses the natural wetland process to help remove and clean nutrients and pollutants from the watershed here in, in Irvine and San Diego Creek. And tell me a little bit about that. So how does nature clean its water and how are we utilizing that? Well, there's, a lots, of, there's lots of different ways that we do that um, here in the, in the uh, San Joaquin Wildlife Sanctuary. Uh, we use plants and bacteria in the ponds to help break down nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and many other things. And these pollutants are, are very harmful as they get further down the watershed, especially like in Newport Bay. Mm -hmm. um, they can cause toxic algal blooms, uh, which kill fish and other life in the bay. The other ways we help clean water are by the ponds themselves. They expose the water and hold it there and allow it to be exposed to UV light. And UV light helps to kill bacteria like E. coli and Enterococcus and all these things that make us sick and make wildlife sick. And so by exposing the, that water to sunlight, it helps break down those different bacteria and there, thereby clean the water. So Mr. Mayor, uh, we're on this hike today and it's a great opportunity for the people to get to meet you and ask questions. Mm -hmm. What's important to you about doing this event? Well, they, this was ex actually indeed for me, it was a great education. We talk about uh, San Joaquin Marsh all the time, mm -hmm. yeah. but how many people really actually understand it's here in the heart of uh, you know, uh, Irvine. Mm -hmm. So not only gave me an extra education today, learn about different trees, uh, flowers, and species. This is a truthfully an amenity that uh, everyone who live in Irvine can enjoy mm -hmm. and appreciate. Excellent. And this was done by the IRWD 20 years ago with their vision to provide this wonderful natural uh, habitat opportunities to the people of Orange County. So I'm amazed that when people think about something new, that really provides and contributes to the entire community as a whole. So I want, just want to thank them for their uh, forward thinking, the sense of the community that will provide such a wonderful opportunity that we all can enjoy. So I really feel very good about uh, selecting this uh, you know, place as a hiking place today in celebration of the Earth Day, uh, every day we, uh, we celebrate. Excellent, well thank you Mr. Mayor. I know everybody had a good time and I certainly well, did. Thank you, yeah. thank you very much. Is this your first time to the uh, wildlife sanctuary? Yes, it is. And uh, how, what, tell me, uh, tell me what's important to you about the uh, city preserving open space like this for you and your family and the residents. I think living in the city, we, you become desensitized to the nature around you. This is a big eye opener for me to realize that Irvine is so beautiful beyond the schools and the community that we live in. Oh, excellent. And tell me, uh, and what about you as a mom? What do you like? You, you brought your kids out today, beautiful family. What do you like uh, that your kids saw today? It's amazing. I mean, we were so excited just to see different birds. I mean, sometimes we take a hike um, just down the trail and we're like, we have to go see all these birds, you know. And he's very excited because it's the Cub Scout hiking with the mayor events for us. So. Tell me, so Nancy, you're, uh, so you've been taking advantage of the open spaces in Irvine yeah. for years, obviously. Tell me what's important to you about, the, uh, about that initiative and the ability for us residents to have all this open space in the city. Well, you know, it's, it's so unique. We, li we sometimes forget that living in a suburban area, that mm -hmm. there's these wonderful parks available, open mm -hmm. spaces available for us. And I like to utilize the opportunity of hiking with the mayor to get exposure to what we have available. It's kind of intimidating just trying to stumble along and find your way, but this is a great way to get introduced to all the different trails that are available and right. the people and the resources available. Have you ever been on a hike with the mayor before? Uh, yes, we were at uh, Bomber Canyon. Is it correct? Well, the Quail Trail Connector. Yeah. A couple Excellent. of years okay. ago. Excellent. So tell me, so you're, you're somewhat familiar with the, the open spaces here in Irvine. Sure. Is it important to you? And if so, what's important about having the open spaces for you as a resident? Well, this is really an incredible place. It's like being in nature 
in the middle of a really highly developed city. I mean, it's un really unbelievable that it's possible to do that. And how about for you, Carol? I really enjoy walking and hiking in beautiful areas. Beth Crom, uh, I know you're on the board uh, at this uh, at the uh, San Joaquin Wildlife Sanctuary, and of course, you're a council member. Um, and and did you enjoy your hike today? First of all, it was a wonderful hike. It was a beautiful day, and every time you come out here, you see something different. Every time of the year, it's a new experience. So I really enjoyed it. Tell me a little bit about the uh, the open space initiative because it's uh, it's been in place for a long time. Is it going away? It's not going away. All of our open space, over 16,000 acres. In fact, now that we have the Orange County Great Park, that represents another 1,400 acres of permanently preserved open space. And this really is the largest urban wild space preserve of any city here in Orange County. And what's nice is that it's usable open space. You know, there are a lot of places where you have beauty, but you can't experience it. Right. And here we have the trails, we have the marsh, we have um, Bomber Canyon. Uh, we have our internal open space, our park and biking network. And so people who live in Irvine really have an opportunity to experience both the built and the natural environment. And yeah. that's really what makes a great community. It really is. Well, thank you so much thank for your you. time today. Thanks for going on the walk with us. Thank you so much. Good to be here. So, Trudy, when you heard the mayor chose the San Joaquin Wildlife Sanctuary for the hike with the mayor today, what was your uh, what were your thoughts? Oh, I was very honored. It's actually the very last walk that he's ever going to do. And mm -hmm. the San Joaquin Wildlife Sanctuary is the perfect place to do such a walk. It's 300 acres of the most beautiful site, and yet it's right in the middle of Irvine. Right. We're surrounded by development, and yet there's all kinds of birds that live here or migrate through here from South America all the way to Alaska during their breeding season. Wow. There's lots of insects, lots of wildlife. It's just a really great place to come. Right. And as the project director of education here at the Sea and Sage Audubon Society, what's it, uh, what's it mean to you when the mayor shows up with uh, 40 or 50 residents? Well, it's a good opportunity. He had a very loyal following. Mm -hmm. It gave us a chance to showcase this place to some people who may not have known that it was here. Even though it's the best kept secret in Irvine, we don't want it to be. We want people to be able to come here and experience this place for themselves, to smell the beautiful plants, to hear the sounds of the birds, to feel the gentle breezes on their faces. It's a wonderful recreational opportunity. Well, I think it's safe to say that everybody enjoyed today's hike with the mayor and city council. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. But I have to say, television really can't capture the beauty and serenity that's here at the San Joaquin Wildlife Sanctuary. And to see that, you're gonna have to come down here yourself and find out why it's called the hidden gem, the natural wonder. For more information on the San Joaquin Marsh and Wildlife Sanctuary, including directions, upcoming events, and classes, go to seeandsageaudubon.org.